Dear friends, we learned yesterday that the Samaritans came and offered their help to rebuild the Temple of Jerusalem. When the Judeans refused their help, they got angry and began to oppose the rebuilding work. They even wrote complaint letters to the kings of Syria. So you see, the people of Judah worked on the temple for just two years from 537 to 535 BC. But because of all these oppositions from their enemies, they became afraid and discouraged. And they stopped the work of rebuilding the temple for 15 long years from 535 to 520 BC. Uh, during these 15 years of no work on the temple of Jerusalem, the people Focus their attention on their own houses. While the temple of Jerusalem laid in ruins, their houses flourished. You see, special cedar woods were imported from Lebanon to build the temple of Jerusalem according to the design of King Solomon. But because of the discouragement and oppositions, and they stopped building the temple, all these cedar woods were lying unused. So the people thought, why not use it for our own houses? So people began to use the cedar woods to build their own houses. But God did not leave them alone in spite of their fear, discouragement and selfishness. God sent not just one, but two prophets to encourage them so that they can continue the rebuilding work of the temple. We see in Ezra chapter 5, verse 1, Then the prophet Haggai and Zechariah, the son of Edo, prophets, prophesied to the Jews who were in Judah and Jerusalem in the name of the God of Israel who was over them. Haggai and Zechariah did not come in the name of the Persian king nor in their own names, but in the name of the God of Israel. They wanted to assure the people that God had sent them. In Haggai chapter 1, verse 3 to 4, Then the word of the Lord came to Haggai the prophet, saying, Is it time for you yourself to dwell in your panel houses and this temple to lie in ruins? Verses 8 to 9 continues, Go up to the mountains and bring wood and build a temple, that I may take pleasure in it and be glorified, says the Lord. You look for much, but instead it came to little. And when you brought it home, I blew it away. Why? Says the Lord of hosts, because of my house that is in ruins, while every one of you runs to his own house. Dear friends, the message of God was this. You are too self-concerned. You are only thinking about yourself, your own comfort. You do your best to earn lots for yourself, yet you do not have enough because you have neglected my house. You have neglected me. One more thing, God says, you, know, you don't have to use cedar woods from Lebanon to build my house, but ordinary woods from the mountains nearby. You see, because the materials is not so important, but that you built it. The most important thing is my presence in the temple amidst you. In Ezra 5, 2, so Jerubabel, the son of Sheltiel, and Yeshua, the son of Zozadak, rose up and began to build the house of God, which is in Jerusalem. And the prophets of God were with them, uh, helping them. After 15 long years of fear and discouragement and selfishness, the people finally began to rebuild the temple of Jerusalem and finish it in five years. In fact, as they resumed the work, some people, some officials came to discourage them and they asked, who gave you permission to build this temple and to finish this wall? But the Bible says that the eye of God was upon the Jewish leaders. Nobody could stop 
the work. Dear friends, are you discouraged? Are you afraid? Are you disappointed? God is with you. God wants to give you encouragement to continue your good work. He will send His encouragement to you. In fact, God has given His encouragement in His living word, the scriptures. If you read it daily, you have enough encouragement for your life. <music>